right, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back. And in today's video, guys, check out this opening clip. All right, as you can see, I murked this dude right here using the Vesper. Now, I hardly ever use this damn Vesper, but I've been getting the mercs with it a lot lately, so I might as well start using it. Now, I get this dude right here, start shooting him in the mid chest, and what the fuck? I get murked with an arc. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? What the? Whoa, we have to relook at this. All right, let's look at this again. All right, as you can see, I'm shooting this dude mid chest up. The aiming was kind of sloppy at the beginning, but now check what the hell happened here. To do with the RK5 with a pistol, and what? What the fuck? What the? What are you fucking? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 let's relook at this again. Let's look at this shit again. What the fuck happened here? Alright, so he he's shooting the wall behind me and getting hit markers. Then he shoot, starts shooting the metal, metal box in front of me and gets the kill? Over a Vesper while I was aiming at his chest. I was aiming at his chest the entire time. Well, I know at first I was aiming, uh, my aiming was a little sloppy at first, but still, man, how do I get outgunned by a pistol? The dude was shooting like three feet to my left. What the fuck? Man, Vondahar, your pistols are so OP. They have the biggest hitbox in the entire fucking game out of any freaking weapon. That thing has a gigantic fucking hitbox, man. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. I Oh, the P Black Ops 2 pistols are back, son. And as y'all can see, the Black Ops 2 hit detection is back, man. Man, what are you going to do? I mean, it's a Treyarch game. All right, man, you should have already known the tra freaking hit detection was going to be garbage. I mean, that's always been one thing I'll always say Infinity War always had over Treyarch. I mean, Infinity War had the best hit detection in probably Call of Duty history, man. I mean, Treyarch used to really have good hit detection back in Black Ops 1 and World at War. The hit detection wasn't that bad, but ever since Black Ops 2, I don't know what the hell they've been doing with the hit detection. I have no freaking clue. But yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm using the HVK on Redwood again, man. Yeah, y'all probably been noticing this a lot. I have a lot of gameplays on Redwood, but it's really not my fault. I don't know what it is. It seems every time I get on this map, I tend to do good. I mean, it's kind of like Raid from Black Ops 2. I mean, every I don't know what it was about the map. It wasn't my favorite map, but for some reason, I always do good on it. All right, now check this shit out, guys. Now, I see these dudes coming up to my right right here on my mini-map, and I murk this dude. Oh, sniper rifle, bitch, hit the glitch, and what the fuck? Oh, damn. Oh, 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 wall run. Wall run. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell. Oh, platform. Yes, son, yes. Oh, my God. When I was playing this map, when I was playing this match, dude, and that happened, dude, I was freaking out. Man, why on earth did it do that, though? I mean, does it literally, like, keep track of where you literally were a couple seconds ago? I mean, I don't really know, I don't technically know how this glitch works. I mean, because sometimes I'd be running in a certain direction, I would glitch, but it would, like, put me forward, and it doesn't bring me back to where I was, it would shoot me forward, and sometimes it would bring me into a different location than where I was. I mean, I don't know how this glitch works, and now check this Hellstorm missile out, god damn it. Man, Treyarch straight cut the nuts off this freaking Hellstorm missile. I mean, back in the beta, I mean, the beta Hellstorm missile was mm -hmm, freaking amazing, freaking scrumptious, dude, was fucking amazing. But, dude, ever since the actual game came out, the Hellstorm missile has been garbage, man. As I pick up the Wraith, son, I mean, this Wraith is still pretty badass. I mean, they made the Wraith better. That's like a gun-butted in the face, man. God damn it. I hate that shit. I mean, I was damaged, so I'm, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my death on that one. But what the fuck? Why is this dude in our spawn? What the? F oh my gosh! And one of my buddies I was playing with the other day was talking about how the spawns on Black Ops Three was so good. Man, what? Get the fuck out of here, man! And then the spawns in this game freaking suck. And did you just see that? I just spawned in that location. The dude had his super ready looking at me already. He knew where I was before I even knew. I mean, damn it. I mean, it always seems like that, right? Every time you're playing Call of Duty, it always seems like you're playing up against a good team. Especially in Black Ops 3, right? I mean, in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and the, uh, in, also in the original Call of Duty's World at War COD 4, I mean, there was those matches to where the, the other team didn't stand a chance. I mean, there's been multiple times back at Black Ops 1 to where I'll be going like 45-0, and 
52-0 in a team death match, dude. Yeah, that shit was sick, and the other team didn't stand a freaking chance. But here in Black Ops 3 with the scrub-based matchmaking, it's a little tougher to find those lobbies, man. I mean, they're still findable, trust me. I've gotten to matches with complete freaking noobs, but unfortunately with the suit with the new supers added and all that stuff, it's a little bit tougher because the noobs have an advantage with those supers. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of noobs camp with that freaking vision pulse. That shit could be a freak. That shit could be annoying, man. There's been multiple times to where I'd get vision poles and the little dot would be like in a corner somewhere and uh, like, oh, god damn it. I mean, there should be a way to punish campers, but to be honest, I really don't know how. And all y'all people that are saying camping's a legit play style, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Who are you kidding? I mean, I've actually hear, heard people on YouTube say that. I'm not going to name drop or anything. They know who the hell they are. I actually know people on YouTube. Well, not know them, but seen them on YouTube. That's saying, oh, camping is a legit play style. Y'all have to stop hating on camping. I mean, unless you're playing an MLG tournament or playing for money. I mean, if you're playing for money, I completely under freaking stand. I mean, you're playing for money. But if you're playing in a public match for fun and you're camping in a corner. Now, don't get me wrong. There's been ways. I mean, if you're moving, like if you're like just moving to cover, to cover, to cover every couple seconds, I don't really mind that. That's just playing safe. But if you're going to sit in a fucking corner the entire game and not move and waiting for people just to run past you so you can instantly murk them that is bullshit that is unfreaking fair and also the people that are just going to one line of sight or one line of sight to where it's a heavy uh populated or heavy uh trafficked area and you're just going to aim down sight in that one location like this location i'm in right now like there's a few people that actually go in this location or up in that window right there. I mean, do you know how many times I find campers camping with, like, LMGs and assault rifles up in that bitch? I mean, it is ridiculous. I mean, camping, camping, it's sickening. That is the most looked down upon play style in Call of Duty. And there's still people out there that think it's a legit play style. I mean, who the hell are y'all kidding? Alright, guys. Before this video lets out, I have to address my Fallout peeps. Yes, I know. I actually... Ever since I started my Fallout playthroughs, I've been getting a lot of good, positive comments from my subscribers, actually. And thank y'all for that. I'm actually really enjoying Fallout. And I will be uploading more Fallout, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing the full st story. Because it it's going to take me a long time to finish the story. And to be honest, I just want to finish it without having me to upload it and having like all this stuff I have to plug in all my stuff before I do it I mean I don't want to worry about all that when I'm playing a game because I really do want to enjoy Fallout 4 but don't worry don't worry I already have a lot of things planned for Fallout to upload I mean I plan on showing off my base my settlements I mean I'm not even I'm not even like a quarter way through with the freaking story yet so I'm still gonna be uploading some of the stories like like the interesting parts like some of the boring missions that are just slow and you're just talking to people I'm not going to upload, but if it's like action packed, like we're having like a full blown like battle or war or something, I, hell yeah, I'm going to upload that. And it's most likely going to be live comms. So you guys can hear my reaction when shit starts going down. Now, check out this next part, guys. I see this guy to my left, freaking re reject bitch. Get that dude down. I see that sparrow, try to flank her. Oh, and I see this Ronin, hit the glitch. Get that dude running up and hit this dude. Oh my god. I can't believe I actually got that kill. I was so surprised when that dude did not instantly merc me. I mean, how the hell did that dude not kill me? I mean, he saw me, he saw the whole glitch path. I mean, damn, I, man, there's just people that don't know what the fuck they're doing who that play this game, man. But that about wraps up today's video, guys. If y'all like the video, don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe for future content. It's the Jagger. I'm signing off. See you around.